Hello everyone. Today we will discuss beautiful novel Season of Migration to the North and it was written by Mr. Tayyab Salim. This novel was published in 1966 and it was first written in Arabic language. It was later on translated in English language and uh, Mr. Tayyab Salim belongs to Sudan and he is the novelist in North Africa who is famous for its uh, uh, for the depiction of the violence during the time period of the colonization uh, in Sudan especially uh, the Egypt and the United Kingdom Sudan got the independence in 1956 first january and um, if we will talk about the genre of this novel it's a modern post colonial novel setting if we will discuss in this novel it is set in the two places one is the wad hamid in sudan and other is the london united kingdom and uh, narrative technique first person narration has been used in this novel and the main idea of this novel depict the impact of the british colonization on the life of colonized people like sudan who are inspired from the colonizer lifestyle colonizer education like that because the main characters like uh, mustafa and the narrator both went to england and uh, mustafa spent um, a time over there and he got the scholarship first in cairo and then he went to england for the study and similarly narrator spent the time in england 7 years in the research study so this novel talks about the identity crisis confusion due to the dual identity because the characters are struck in the two culture one is the east other one is the west and uh, hybridity of the culture and disconnection alienation because they are far away from their homeland like from the sudan wad hamid to the england and also violence and the loss of identity the points of the discussion in this novel the novel reflect the conflict of the modern sudan brutal history of colonization that shaping the reality and identity of um, of the sudanese and uh, and the impact of the anglo egyptian colonization in sudan if we will talk about the plot story of this novel rotate around the protagonist of this novel and what's the name of this protagonist is the mustafa said mustafa said who who was brought up by a single mother because his father was died before his birth and uh, he got the scholarship i told you already in cairo and then went to england and uh, and he attempts to murder his wife jane morris i want to tell you important thing about the mustafa kamal that he wanted to take the revenge from the colonizer whatever they did with the sudan and with the people of sudan and similarly it could be called as the reverse colonization tayyab talks about the civilization in the west and colonialism by the british on the african community and sudani culture what was the effect of this british colonizer uh, on the african people and especially uh, his own people here i want to discuss two important point effect of nehra movement nehra movement that originates in egypt which viewed the west as the necessary resources and the model for social and industrial advancement second i want to tell you about the background of the sudan and important facts about it because it is very necessary to understand the symbol of this novel like uh, sudan it is located in sahara desert um victim of anglo egyptian colonization 
lack of natural resources because you know about it in desert area there there are lack of natural resources like water uh, plantations and such kind of things so south and the no north so sudan they are the two important parts before that colonizer like uh, egypt uh, egyptian and uh, also the britisher both they use the tool of divide and rule and they divide the sudan in two part for the purpose to take a, to take over the nile river routes trade markets just for the purpose of their progress and development colonizer wanted to take the access of all these things mustafa character so we will discuss about now mustafa said who is the protagonist of this novel he is the mysterious character and charismatic central character of this novel and he was born in the sudan in 20th century in the british colonial period and he was the such kind of a person who spent the life in the london and um, in lavishly just like exotic personality mustafa in the london have a destructive relationship with the english woman mustafa distinguishes himself distinguishes himself as economist and playing as an exotic and seduce them through the intelligence seductive charms and power of manipulation even his three of his lover english women commit suicide and at last he murder the fourth his wife jane morris and he came back in vadhamid and he started a new life and he got married with husna binti mahmud and having a two young son and in his homeland he met with the narrator the second character of this novel the narrator is from the small village of vadhamid and he spent 7 years in the london and after completion of his study there is a research study for for the completion of his phd he came back to the vadhamid and where he encounters with the mustafa said and he was saying i hear a bird sing or the dog bark on the sound of an axe on the wood and i feel a sense of stability so you can guess about the loyalty and the faithfulness of the narrator with the homeland now one night in the drinking party when mustafa said said the verses of english poetry and the narrator was very surprised he was curious about his past where from he came the stranger the man who appeared as a farmer and the one night um, mustafa said um, met with the narrator and told him about his dark past now so we are moving from present to the past life mustafa said past life and now what's going on in the present time now uh, then the narrator he, because he was living in this homeland he heard the news of the death of the mustafa said and uh, he was died and uh, although he was a very good swimmer and uh, all these things makes his uh, death very mysterious so um, um after this द मुस्तफ़ा सईद वाइफ हुसन बिनते महमूद एंड द टू यंग सन वर द अंडर द गार्डियनशिप ऑफ द दिनेटर ही ऑल्सो लिव अ की ऑफ सीक्रेट रूम इन हिज हाउस नो इट्स अ न्यू ट्विस्ट इन दिस नॉवल अ सीक्रेट रूम इन द मुस्तफ़ा सईद हाउस विच डिपेक्स द हिज रूट विद वेस्टर्न सिविलाइजेशन एंड हिज एलियनेशन इवन इन हिज ओन एफ्रीकन सुडानीज कल्चर why he build up this secret room we will discuss later on but in the sudan the husna has to faced a terrible pressure from his family especially father compelled him to marry with the old age man wad rais wad rais and but she was not willing to marry with old age man she was widow and uh, now she decided to kill um uh, but rise and uh, and and she attempted to suicide and all this information came to the narrator now the narrator um is all although um narrator was very sympathetic with husna and he developed uh, the affection with husna um but 
traditions and the cultures and values are very important in the african culture we couldn't go against the values and the culture of um, of the traditional way of the africa so um, he faced the alienation to the migration abroad who he faced alienation to the migration abroad first he the narrator who came from from england to the vadhamir and uh, after the completion of his phd research and he satisfied he is a positive character but mustafa said who built a secret room um with the painting with the pictures and the fireplace just like the english people which depict the western civilization western culture so although he he was living um in the sudanese culture in his own culture but he faced the alienation due to due to the migration abroad now we will discuss about the theme the journey there is no constant moment in the novel from sudan to the england england to the village wadhamid you can see the two characters the narrator and also the uh, mustafa said uh, and also crossing the desert and crossing the desert in the caravan of the trucks a long caravan that ascend and descend and in campus and then proceed on it we this type of journey most often just like a cyclic uh we can see just like a weather seasons change similarly is motivated by the climate food and reproduction people move from one place to another because uh, sudan is a country which is very warm just like a fire and desert area so people has to move from one place to another migration from south to the north especially mustafa said the narrator very important from village vadhami to the london city and culture it it is also the journey from one culture to the another culture from the sudanese culture to the english culture from the east to the west so the train carried me to the victoria stations and the world of jean morris these are the line from the novel and um, it's all about uh, the you can say uh, about the mustafa said what's going on in his mind now the next theme is the exile and displacement when you are moving and you are living abroad definitely you in the exile state and displacement these are the phenomena which you have to face main reason was that the north england offer a superior education like the narrator he wants to complete his phd and also mustafa said he got the scholarship first in cairo and then um, he went to england and it is a colonial idea because you always no that there is a relationship between colonizer and colonized is always superior and inferior and colonized people always uh, like um, to see the uh, the colonizers lifestyle um, their education their living their language as a superior as compared to their own native language so uh, they consider their education superior as compared to their own uh, colonialism is a disease the author depicts the colonialism is a disease tayyib sal is telling us that colonialism is a germ that spread and in fact it hosts the narrator claims that the british important to us the germ of greatest european violence they came in africa in sudan and they create the germs they spread the uh, disease in the sudanese such experienced in the world war 1 1914 1918 Eighteen and British colonizers subjugated and violated the Sudanese people. They manipulated because they want to get the control of the Nile River trade routes and trading markets. And the next uh, theme is the colonialism. Western civilization is an infection long after the British have left. By the germ of deadly disease that assailed them thousands years ago, they hate their countrymen. Even that they are considering their own. Um, people inferior so we can conclude these things the two places apartment in the london which reflect his roots with the eastern culture and the secret room in the village of wadhamid which reflect his connection with the english culture with the english norms values and tradition um, because the room is consist of oil painting english women pictures and also the fireplace so uh, these are the symbols of the western civilization so he was struck in the two culture one is african arabic other one is the english 
now we will discuss the different symbol the nile river is always the symbol of the life and the death booth and here the nile is the symbol of the nourishment for the village of wadhamid and also it's a source of fertility goodness truth and place of clarity for mustafa said second one is the desert because sudan is mostly consist of the desert area Uh, because it is located in the sahara desert so it's a symbol of madness futility and desolation and uh, sudan is a place of um, fire and also the place of the warmth so these are the things which depicts the nature and other one is the site secret room in the sudan which uh, shows his link with the western culture and uh, from um from floor to the ceiling um, uh, all the books Uh, which were found over there they were in in english text none of them uh, were in native language uh, like arabic so uh, last one and not the least and uh, it's english fireplace and you know english fireplace is the symbol of the western culture so symbol of british culture depicts and um, here um, fireplace is a strange artifacts to maintain in a small village in a secret room uh in sudan and uh, which reflect his roots with the english um civilization english culture so that's why even in the sudan he was feeling alienation i want to tell you one thing um, uh, if we will um, know about the identity identity especially the people who are living uh, in abroad identity is always flexible it's fluid process and you cannot say that identity is a stagnant when you will move from one place to another place you will also adopt the different values traditions um, their uh, language influence their living style education like that so homi ke baba said that it's always fluid you cannot say it's a constant now we will uh, discuss about this side uh, london apartment apartment in the london that is a embodies a fetishized versions of the eastern roots his connection with the london with his connection with the england thank you very much i hope you understand